Do you want to learn how to connect two databases to Prisma? In this step-by-step -step guide, we will learn exactly that. We will first look at an example use case and then set it up. So let's go. An example use case where you would need two different databases could be an industrial application. Take one that monitors the energy flows in a power plant. Here you would need to create different dashboards for your customers. On one side represent structural data and on the other side represent time series data. In this case, you could store the structural data in a standard relational database like Postgres and the time series data in a time series specific database like CreateDB. In the following example, we will use Postgres for both instances of the database to make it a little bit easier. You can then connect Prisma with the databases that you need. First, we will create a new directory and open it in VS Code. Then we set up two Postgres instances by creating a docker compose.yaml file, including the specifications. Now we create the containers by running docker compose up. Before we can connect Prisma to the two databases, we need to set up a new project. For this example, I want to create a really simple REST API with one endpoint that requests data from both Postgres instances. To start, we will set up the project by running the following command. Init a new project, install TypeScript, install Prisma, and install Fastify. With this, we have the basic setup done. Next, we will initialize Prisma for both databases. We first initialize Prisma for the first database, adjust the variable and connection string inside .env, and create a second variable for the second database and name it psql2 underscore url. We then rename the generated schema.prisma file to schema1.prisma. We then open it and change the generator by setting an output directory. Then we change the variable inside the data source, duplicate the file and rename it to schema2.prisma, open it and change the generator by setting an output directory. We also change the data source URL to psql2 underscore URL. Now we define our schema. For this, I will just create a simple example. First for the first database instance and then for the second one. Next, we bring the schemas to the database using migrate. With this, we set up the basics. Sadly, our clients will not be generated automatically. For this, we will create a new script inside the package.json and call it Prisma. The script will execute the following command. We then run it in the terminal using pnpm run Prisma. In addition, we will also add the dev command to run the program. In case you want to know how to set up Fastify with Hot Reload, check the video in I. The last step is to create our example endpoint. For this, we create a new file inside the source directory and call it index.ts. The code inside the file looks as follows. We first import Fastify, then we import both of our generated clients, create a new Fastify server, create our endpoint, where we first get data from both databases and then return them as a JSON. Lastly, we start our server under port 8080. Now we can start the server using pnpm dev. 
and check if it works by visiting the URL in the browser. To show that it does, I added some example data. With that, you learned how to connect Prisma with two databases. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.